Hey, 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 I'm live again. Here we are in the Crafty Bunch, and we're doing a, a, a really cool event today. We are doing uh, the birds, man. It's all about the birds. And dang it, I forgot to get my little bird puns and, and mems and stuff together. I really wanted to do that. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm enjoying birds. I love birds. So that's one of the reasons why I definitely wanted to do this. And as I'm looking at the other grades, um, I know Miss Lois is finishing up from Wild Child Mercantile. I'm in the Crafty Bunch, by the way, and this is their event, and it's a spotlight event, and it's a spotlight event for Miss Melanie Lamb from uh, the Painting Crafty, who, by chance, actually happens to be after me. So, yeah, Melanie is is awesome, by the way. I love Melanie. Um, we've known each other. She's kind of like Lydia. I've known her for some other classes for a while. I love what she does. She's got a lot of really um, amazing uh, talent. She does her little drawings and her paint drawings, draw-alongs, they call I think Tuesdays and Thursdays really cute stuff and then she does a lot of really wonderful um projects as well and i'm sure she's going to have something awesome today so i'm just kind of like hanging out for a second let everybody kind of get over and um i know uh, miss lois is still kind of doing her thing i can see her here but um there we go she got me sprinkled so uh thank you miss angie for doing that and i appreciate you angie for for having me on here and uh, <clears throat> For this event okay so now i can see myself and like i said it'll take a second for everybody to start rolling in but um yeah so like i said today's spotlight is uh melanie and like i said i just think melanie is just amazing she's so fun my, matter of fact she's my doll that's what i call her whenever i whenever i go in the comments i always say hey doll and she likes that so but yeah she's up next and she's so fun and um, i just really enjoy her she's very very upbeat and just always has amazingly talented um projects going on so so today like i said it's a bird theme and um it's interesting because i was watching the other gals and their actual style of bird it's like everybody must have got the memo because my bird is along the same line as far as just that little whimsical shape i thought of a lot of things uh birds are like there's a lot of things you can do with birds so it took me a minute to really kind of narrow it down um, <clears throat> because I have bird molds, I have nests, I have bird houses and all that. And I'm thinking, eh, yeah, yeah. but you know, I really love working with totem poles. If you guys don't know, I, I've kind of gotten into these little vertical structures. And so today I'm going to do a small little tabletop vertical structure with, uh, with some birds. And I started kind of prepping a lot of it and I kind of got lost and did a lot of the work already. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to save some stuff for the live. So um, I'm going to start showing you here what I'm going to be doing. And I think I think Lois is done. So we should start getting some people over here. So anyway, what I'm going to be doing today is I went ahead and like I said, I prepped. I'm working with Paula McClay, by the way. Those that are not familiar with me, uh, pretty much what I do is something with Paula McClay. Even if I add other elements to it, I'll do something that has a clay part just because I love clay and it's kind of like my challenge. And uh, yeah, I'm totally in love with using the clay. I'm going to be using a, you know, my Sculpey clay today. This is a, thank you, darling. That's my wonderful husband, the sexy little white little t-shirt over there. Oh, I guess that's not a good thing to say. We don't want to say that. <laughs> okay, the sexy white tank top. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to be using the polymer clay. And what I did instead of, you know, instead of people getting wood cutouts, I actually make my own. And the way I do that is um, by taking the clay, it comes in a bulk, and then I cut it up and I roll it out and I get it into a sheet. And I've got a little bit of that going on down on my table here. Um, and I'm, then I do my cutouts and whatever. But so here's kind of what I got going on. Hey, Terry, how are you, girl? It's good to have you here. I saw that you had a paint party yesterday. Those are such fun, aren't they? The little paint parties. They did a great job. I love the cactuses, the succulents, by the way. Very cool. All right, so what I've got going, I got three of these little birds. And like I said, I, I did so much of the prep work, but I still have enough left, I think, to get through it to show you. And I'm going to show you how I pretty much put this together. I've got one here. Um, I've got one here. And then I've got this last one here that I'm going to put a little stencil on and show you and finish that up. Hey, Sue, how's it going, girlfriend? Good, good, good. Good to have you here. All right, so I've got three birds that are going to be in a vertical structure. Okay, now that vertical structure, yeah, they are cute. And like I said, um, everybody, the last couple, well, Lois and um, Lisa both had that same shape of bird, very similar to mine. I'm like, oh, it's kind of, it's just an easy, fun, whimsical bird, but it's cute. Now, a couple things I'm going to be doing, though, here, like I said, is, I made these, I've got, if you see me, I might have might have seen me use these before. This is like my little base, and this is a piece of, um, 
I just cut the bottom off of a wire hanger. See the bottoms missing there? I cut that off and I used the straight piece. Number one, it's pretty strong. These wire hangers are pretty, pretty, pretty tough, pretty thick, I guess, or whatever, or a good gauge. And so I used that and I bent the bottom a little bit and then I, I poured, uh, I put, set it inside. I taped it inside this little dish here. Okay, I set it inside there. And then I poured, I mixed up some plaster Paris. I'm getting ready to burn myself in my hot glue gun. I mixed up some plaster Paris some water. If you guys never mix plaster Paris, you mix, uh, it's a dry, dry, uh, powdery form. You mix a little bit of water because a little bit of water goes a long way. And you mix that up kind of like in a, mm, a loose uh, pancake batter consistency. You pour it in there and you let it sit. And then it just pops right out and you got your little base. Okay, so that's what we're, that's what all these little guys are going to sit on. Um, let me see. We got, hey, Herb, hey, Laura, how are you, girl? It's good to have you. Good to have you. I watched you, uh, I watched your replay. And you make that little, uh, that little box, that one commission box with the beads and stuff. That was pretty cool. Good job, girl. All right, so, um, ow, I just burned myself on my little lovely hot glue gun. So, okay, besides using this base here, um, I, this is cool. I've been waiting to find a time to use this and I could use it. I said, Hey, Melanie, how are you, darling? Um, I could have used this on something else, of course, but I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and use it today. Now, um, I have, I'm a plant freak. I got, I love plants. I've got plants hanging all over. You can ask my husband, he's like, well, another plant, but I've got a really cool, um, uh, spider plant hanging right outside my door. And this little bird's nest, somebody somebody made a bird's nest inside my spider plant. So uh, this is an actual real bird's, bird's nest. And I've been sitting, it's just been sitting there waiting for something. And so I'm going to use it today. I'm going to implement that onto my little piece here. Okay. So I've got my three birds. I've got my um, my little bird's nest and then my, my stand and whatnot. Oh, and then I also made, uh, like I said, I pre-made all these. I kind of have to because I have to bake this stuff. But I have some little clay beads. You guys see I made these little beads. If you ever want me to show you how to make beads, I've done it a little bit before. But I've got some, uh, these are like swirly. I've got, they got squirrel color in them. Okay, so I'm adding those to in, like a separation in between them to give some interest. And I have a little mold here, my silicone mold, my little leaf mold. And I made some little leaves. I'm going to add the leaves on there. Then I'm going to distress it all. So. I already told you what I'm going to do, so I'm done. <laughs> no, okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to uh, turn you down to my tabletop, and then we'll get to work. Um, yeah, that's good. That's good, Laura. Is it, like I said, I can't remember. It's afternoon here. Is it late evening, or is it morning there for you guys in, in uh, England? Hey, Lisa, how are you? It's good to have you here. All right, so like I said, I'm going to turn the tabletop down, and uh, we're going to go from there. And I'm going to show you what I got going on. Do, do, do. You guys having a good Sunday? I'm having a great Sunday. I went to church and got me a little Jesus, and it's a beautiful sunny day, and it's all good. All right, so you still got my birds already set upside here. But what I'm going to show you is um, <clears throat> basically the process of how I got to this part. Um, so I've got one here. This is, like I said, I rolled my clay out. I got my little floppy piece of raw clay. Oh, I don't want to get – I got bird's nest stuff all over the place. Man, I'm looking at that bird's nest – that they, they find all kinds of stuff to put in the nest. They had like lint. I don't, where'd they get the lint from? I'm not sure. From I don't maybe my dryer. They got it from underneath the house. I don't know. And then um, some plastic pieces of plastic. So I had to kind of pick through the bird's nest and look at clean it up a little bit. All right. So what I did, I just found a little cut off off the uh, off the internet. I'm just gonna use this as my little pattern per se. And then so now I've got the wing here, and you'll understand I cut the wing out because the wings are separate. But right now, I just put it all together so you can see. <clears throat> it's evening at 721. Okay, well, it's not too late. All right. So, yeah, I'm just going around and cutting this out. For those of you who watched me before, you know that this is kind of a standard when I do this particular process. You know, I do a lot of things with polymer clay. Uh, and so, because it's so dang versatile, and I just love it. But anyway, yeah, this is the basic. I thought of doing this more dimensional like, you know, making a, dub, a double side on that. But I thought, you know what? People don't really look at the back sides of things too much. So I figured I'd just do the front side. This one here, I'm not going to fire. I'm just kind of giving you <clears throat> the basic um, principle of what I do with these. This is just kind of like my little my little play one. So the wing, I don't need. I'm just going to cut that piece right there. Okay. And so we've already got our bird cut out. 
All right, so our bird's cut out right there. Now for this bird, I thought about doing, you know, rolling a, a stamp on there or start stamping it or putting a texture. Uh, I do have these little guys, but instead of doing that um, on the body, I did it on the wings. And you can see I haven't attached this wing yet. I've used the stencil and I attached the wing and I got a separate circle cut out. And so that's what that's about. So literally, you, you know that I've just cut the wing out and then I would do this and I'm going to roll it. But instead of doing that, uh, oh, one thing that I need to tell you about this, when you're putting, I'll just use this one as a sample because I'm really not going to use this. But uh, when you're when you're going to cut out something with a texture, sometimes I actually forget, but it's really best to actually put your your stencil or your texture design on your piece before you cut it out. Anybody might know why. It's because this clay is so soft and when you roll it, I'll show you, when you roll it, like I said, this is just a sample piece to play with. Let me get my little roller over here. All right, when you roll this out, it's going to make, it's going to kind of distort your clay piece. It's going to make it flatter. You know, it's going to spread out. So you, you don't want to cut this out and then roll it because it'll kind of make it a little funky and you got to put it back in shape. So it's always best to get your design and then cut out whatever image you're going to do. You guys got it? Yeah, I love birds too. I really do. I, I Birds, nature. I was I went to a really cool um, art gallery opening yesterday in one of the towns close to here. And uh, it was a really cool place, by the way. I, I talked to them about maybe teaching uh, doing Paula McClay over there. So that's something maybe in the works for the fall. But uh, yeah, so you can see like that. But anyway, yeah, they had a lot of different things. I'm thinking birds and nature are really my, my biggest things I like to do. Anyway, so you got like a little texture. And then once it's painted, you can see that it'll come out a little bit. All right, so that's pretty much that. Now, what I'm going to do here is, like I said, I've got, what I did after that um, is I just took, you can see on these, it has a little bit, the, the white, I'll show you this one. The white's got texture on it, okay? The white has texture uh, because I, and it looks like I could have textured it with something, but I literally just took one of these little sponge daubers in the white paint and just daubed it on, and I wanted it to have the texture, so that's why, and I took this off here, that's why I wanted to make sure that I had this safe, like it's something for the camera to, to, to show you. So, um, yeah, so that's how I got the texture, and of course, you can see I just painted it up from there, I put a little eyeball and all that sort of thing in there okay now um what i want to do is you can see i put some sort of a little a little stencil pattern on here on each one of these and i'm going to do this one here i'm going to juice this one up on the bottom and then i'll be able to put the wing on and then uh we'll get the desk on and paint some other things yeah so yeah love you oh this one yeah art is my jam i actually wore this to church today <laughs> i have some jesus ones too but this is one I wore to church. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do stencil wise. I don't want to do that. I think I think I'm going to go with this one, guys. It's kind of cute, and it's not. I want them all to be a little different. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I'll say now. What I want to do here is I want to turn. You know, I've got an edge here. I don't want that edge to be cut off like that. I want it to look like it's going into the bird, like it's kind of flowing in there. So I turn the stencil around so that the edge is not like this way. You know, like cutting it off. I want it to look like that, okay? And I'm just going to hold it down. You can tape it if you feel like it's going to move on you. Um, this isn't brain surgery. I'm just doing like a real quick guide. I think what I'm going to do too is do some some yeller. I got some uh, some King's Gold here. Little apple. No, these are apple barrels. A lot of times I use the um, Deco Arts, but that's kind of like I ended up getting a lot of Deco Arts when I was starting with paint parties because they're a better kind of like for painting, painting, I guess, in a sense. But these are these are good too. I've been using apple bar forever today. I got a little booger in there. Hey, Miss Ashton, how are you, girlfriend? It's good to have you here. Yes, yeah, good to have you. Okay, so what I'm doing this one? I just cleaned this one off. He's kind. This one's kind of wet. I had to. Has anybody got a bad habit of leaving their brushes in water for a few days and? Then you're like, oh, my water's nasty and it starts stinking. So you need to clean. Anyway, that's what I did. I was cleaning up before I, I came on here. So I'm just going to hold this and hopefully I can get somewhat of a decent stencil. Let's, like I said, I'm just, as long as it don't move, I think it'll be all right. Even if it's not perfect, it's not, you know, it's not, I'm not doing it to where I have to be exact. But I just wanted a little something on there, just a little something to decorate it up. Okay. So that's done there. 
Is everybody enjoying their Sunday? Boy, I don't know. I'm just in, I'm in a good mood today. I actually got some sleep last night, which doesn't happen very often. And like I said, I went to church. That always makes me feel good. And then sunny day and all the good stuff. All right, so that's drying. While that's drying, I think I'm going to go ahead and paint my base. One thing about, if any of you guys ever work with plaster, you know, give me a high five or a hand or a thumb or, or tell me, me guilty. Guilty what? Of what? I missed that, Ashton. Guilty. Yeah, tell me what you're guilty of. I guess I missed that that line of thought there. Um, so, yeah, if you've ever worked with plaster, you know that plaster, I mean, you know, it, it's hard. But it, it, it can chip, guys. It can actually chip. You got to be somewhat careful with it when you're when you're messing with it. It does come out kind of smooth on the bottom of it. It's kind of cool that little that little plastic bowl that I use. But I'm going to go ahead and paint this because I'm going to put guilty of leaving my oh soaking in the water. Yep, yeah, I'm horrible about that. You know, and then they want to fall apart, and you wonder why. Well, Kim, take care of your brushes. You know, but I do. I went out and bought some awesome that that stuff. That, oh, dang it. I'm sorry. I just burned myself on my hook. That's okay. That's a laughable moment. See, I got the big, big one over here and it just burned the poop out of my hand. All right. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The brushes. Like I said, I, I get, you know, some decent brushes. And then the next thing I know, they're falling apart on me and everything. I bought that awesome stuff to clean them off because everybody said, oh, try awesome. And it does all right. That green, the, the, the orange cleaner, whatever it is. So I'm just I just want to paint this a dark brown because I'm gonna have that uh, the uh, the nest over there over this and I just want it to be a, a dark base color and um, I am actually going I'm gonna use the uh, waxy medium the distress medium and I'm gonna age these down or or whatever grunge them whatever the heck you want to call it these days like I said I'm old school we used to call it antiquing or aging or whatever the other words are so uh, yeah you're bad with your brushes too Lydia. Hey, Miss Lydia, how are you, darling? Have you guys been uh, hanging out today? Did you get your get all your uh, trees, your brushes for your landscaping? Or are you boating or having a good day? I know, I know Dennis has got you doing something. He's a man on the go. So like I said, I'm just putting a coat on there. And Miss Tanya, hi, Tanya. It's Tanya. You know, as Southerners, we say Tanya. Sorry. But... um. You get you get the hint. Like I said, my friend Lena, um, I used to call her Lana because I was used to saying Lana. She says it's Lena. Now I've gotten the habit of calling her Lena, but I used to call her Tomato all the time because I'm Tomato, Tomato, Lana, Lena. Anyway, yeah, so are you guys, are you ladies having a good day? Everybody doing all right? Building, uh, building. I, I know. I heard your hubby. I heard him out there with that saw girlfriend. It's all right. Mine does it too. You guys, he, you know, I have a, a separate uh <clears throat> building from the house as well and it's a it's got a roll top on it and when the weather's nice i keep the roll top up and he's out there piddling around with something building this and that and putting tools away scrapping whatever he's doing okay all right so now i got that painted that can dry shopping for for what oh bushes i saw the g in there and it threw me i'm not one of those that are really good with words words <laughs> you know like um what is that Wheel of Fortune. Oh, God, don't even. I have to wait till the last letter before I get it. I'm so stupid. Now, I'm not stupid. Don't get me wrong. I'm not stupid that way. I just like I can't figure those things out. My husband, on the other hand, being a Mexican, I mean, I, he does speak Spanish. He can do Scrabble like nobody's business. Like he knows all these crazy long words. I'm like, how did you learn all those American English words? I don't know. He just knows them from playing. He actually studies the Scrabble book. So. Uh, let's see. Paint party with Lydia. Hey, sweet girl. Okay, you guys are talking. 90s. Oh, my goodness gracious. You're in Georgia, right, Ashton? I think you said you're in Georgia. Yeah, it's pretty toasty here today. That sun's beaming. There, it's cloud, but not too many clouds. Time is treasures. Let me see. Outside planting. the. Oh, that's a wonderful thing to do. I love plants. I just mentioned that earlier. I can't. I like to do anything with nature and plants. Got it. I have a couple friends that our plant girls too and we go plant shopping and all that sort of thing all right so i got my base i got my birds uh what else do i need to do i need to distress these guys down and then i'm going to add my little elements on here my little leaves and whatnot and kind of zhuzh it up so i need this because i'm like getting my little the basically the reason i use this silicone mat is you guys might know i have a piece of glass on my table and the reflection from the lights drives me nuts in the camera 
So I like to, because um, it's like it would, I would just be focusing right on that light if it was me watching myself. So I was like, no, I, I, I like to cover that little light up. Ow, I did it again. I just turned my, I need to get that thing turned off. I guess if I can go ahead and turn it off, if, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't burn me anymore. All I wanted this glue gun for was to glue down my bird nest. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dang bird nest on here so I can get this thing out of the way so I don't burn myself. Again. So let's throw some glue on here. Yeah, this thing is nice, but you guys know you have one of these. Oh, my Lord, it's hot as booger. Tear your fingers up. All right, so now I'm going to turn it off, get it out of my way. I'm just going to slide this right on top of here, kind of center it on top. This is, you know, I just thought about the bird's nest, believe it or not, when I was in church. I'm like, oh, I know you're supposed to be focusing on the message and whatnot. And I wasn't like, Lord, please forgive me. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm worried about my life today. But, um, but yeah, so I thought, oh, I could use that bird bird's nest in there. That'd be really cute. All right, so the bird's nest really is going to make it, I think. It's kind of messy, though. It's shedding. I don't know if there's a way that I can do anything about it. If you guys got any tips on how to not make bird's nest shed, you can definitely help me out with that one. All right, and I don't want to get it in my clay, so that's why. Okay, so I got the bird's nest going. Now, let's uh, let's distress these little puppy dogs. Let's get those done. He knows. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still, I like to do, I like to be very, that's one of the reasons why I, I need to go to church, because it helps me stay focused. You know, like, I can, I can pray on my own, do all that kind of stuff, but when I go there, you know, it kind of, like, brings in that, that spiritual thing. All right, so let me get a brush here, and I'm just going to put some little, a lot of, you know, everybody uses lots of different things. I just get the cheap stuff. This is just the Waverly Wax for the chalk chalk paint sometimes i just use regular um acrylic paints and just dress them down or whatever but i'm going to go ahead and uh, use this right now this brush i don't like that one that one's not there we go with a bad brush in there got to make sure my bristles are soft okay i must i just kind of slap this on everywhere and then i'll just um take it off here and there just kind of gives it a little extra i don't know what do you call that it's got a little extra interest, I guess, when you when you age them down like this. I was thinking about my life during church. Yeah, I know. It's kind of like our mind wanders a little bit. I'm like, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. This is it. I mean, I have, you know, just good messages and stuff, but sometimes you just kind of like, okay. And actually, my back was hurting a little bit today. I'm like squirming around, I had my shoes off, and people, I felt like they're looking at me. Okay, so where are my, here we go. My baby wipes on me. I'm just taking I really don't know if I want to use a baby wipe. It might take too much off. Sometimes when it's wet, it takes too much of it off. But then again, I do want some of the wipe to show. So let me go ahead and use the baby wipe. There we go. Yeah, I do need the baby wipe because I want it to be a little bit more white than what it is here. I would rub too hard because I might rub some of that. See, it just gives it such a nice touch when you add that little stress on there you guys know this you've been you, you know you guys are veterans I ain't, I ain't telling you nothing you don't know except for the fact of working with the clay which i absolutely adore doing i'm going to do the backs too even though like i said not too many people will see the backs but i will i will um go ahead and do the backs by the way i got my giveaway tools set up guys so stay tuned i got my five minute timer set uh by the way once again after me is uh, Miss Melanie. She's the spotlighter today. Melanie's awesome. We love our Melanie. And she's going to be doing something super cool. I know she will because she always does. Is Kendra with you today, Melanie? I don't know if she's with you on Sundays, is she? Yeah, I was thinking about Melanie. So anyway, so I got one there. And it, see the difference between just doing it? I am. We got one here and you got that one. It just adds that extra little touch in the grooves and whatnot it just look, makes it look a little bit better i don't know if i should go ahead and do the backs too let me do the fronts on every one of them because i still got to glue this wing onto here matter of fact i need to do that wing <coughs> and i'm going to show you in a second like how i how i do this like you know if you're doing a totem like a vertical structure this is what i call these as totems you're doing a vertical structure you have to have some way for them to stand up if it's a wood piece of course you know and it's thick it, they can stand up on their own and you can glue them or all that just put your wood in but it's when it's a little thinner like this 
you need some way to actually attach it to your to your wire or your your wood piece or your dowel or whatever and so this is a, just an easy way you can just take a little cut out a little circle cut out of your clay and then bend it and then what i did is when i baked it because sometimes this doesn't always hold its shape i put a little piece of a skewer inside there like this i literally baked it like this raw okay and then i just pulled that out but i made sure that it was big enough to fit over the wire so therefore and then i just painted it after that i think i painted all these after they were baked instead of before sometimes i do the before and sometimes after okay, so that one's done now let's do these other two eating popcorn you were eating popcorn the last time i remember you like your popcorn we talked about that laura i remember because my husband well i like it too we get that um we there's all these i don't know if you guys know what all these is here but they got the best uh cheese popcorn man we now on that stuff i'm trying to be real good guys watching my carbs i've actually dropped a few pounds give me some high fives on that one i'm really trying i can actually start seeing my abs in my stomach a little bit <gasps> god i haven't seen those in years i'm really really trying because i'm thinking that that's going to help my back i have chronic back pain and i know that just getting my core straightened up and, and, and uh, strengthened up is going to be a tremendous weight off my back. <clears throat> so what I'm telling myself, anybody's got back problems, is I'm forcing myself to think more about my back because, you know, when you're lazy in your stomach, you're all, your back's taking a hit. So I'm telling myself, use the back, use the back. I mean, excuse me, use the stomach, use the stomach, use the stomach. And so now I've been iso doing like isometrics. And literally, like when I'm working and bending, I'll like make sure that I'm using my stomach and sit on my back. And it seems to be working, guys. It's just something I figured out that seemed to be helpful. Oh, it's your husband's fault. <laughs> yeah, they are going to be cute. Um, by the way, um, just a little plug. In the Crafty Bunch, we do have the Spotlighter event on Wednesday. I'm the Spotlighter again, and it's a pollinator theme. And I'm telling you, I am so jazzed to show you guys what I've been working on for that one. I'm doing cone flowers. And they are, they're beautiful. I'm, I'm just telling you, they're beautiful. They're, they're literally like an upright cone flower. And uh, that's basically all I'm going to tell you. So I've got that one done. Okay, that's two. I still got to attach the wing on that. Matter of fact, let me do that before I finish that other one. Because I need to make sure that that's glued on enough before I, um, before I put it on the totem. All right, so I'm just using my Gorilla glue. I like using the Gorilla Everybody's got their favorite type of glue. I use different glues. I know tight bond. I know a lot of the wood glues. Um, sometimes I use resins. It just depends on what the project is and if it's something made for outdoors, indoors, you know, how much, if it's just going to sit there, if it's going to get used. All right. So I want the wing to sit up a little bit past the, uh, past the bird. All right. So we'll let that sit for a few minutes and now I can finish up this other bird. I don't know. I think I want to take a little bit more off there. I think I need a new wipe. This one's getting a little bit gruddy. All right. And I do need to do the backs on these two. I just love it when I just dress them down there. This looks so cool. All right. I need a new baby wipe. This one's getting kind of trashy. All right. Hey there, Miss Deborah. How are you? Girl, I saw that reel when you were dancing with them during Maracas. I'm like, what is that? You look so fun. Oh, you cracked me up. I was laughing. But you just, you just, you're awesome, Deb. You're just so awesome, Miss Deborah. <clears throat> All right. I like to dance too, by the way. You guys now have not seen me dance, but I do like to dance. You can ask my husband. I can dance now. I like to do hip hop, and I mean, I'm not like professional, but I can get my groove on when I need to. But like I said, with my back, it's been messing me so bad that it's hard for me to dance. Like it just, I can't do what I want to do. I am 62, and I am not ready to feel like I'm 62, guys. I just, like, have such a young spirit, and I just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. I'm not ready to go down yet, so that's why I'm trying to get myself back. I don't know if anybody has, has that mentality, but I'm just like, nope, I'm fighting this thing. <laughs> so I'm just not going to have it. I'm just not going to have it. I just decided I'm changing. I'm changing my ways. I was, oh, the Cinco de Mayo dance. Of course, I got that with the hat and, and the maracas and all that. Yeah, um, the, not the, yeah, the maracas. That's what they're called, right? Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, well, you guys, anybody saw Lit, me and Lydia? 
we actually did um, our little beach theme for Cinco de Mayo. It didn't even dawn on me here. Like I said, do you guys realize that most people in Mexico don't get two hoots about Cinco de Mayo? They don't even really celebrate it. I'm laughing because all these white people are like, Cinco de Mayo, let's have a party. And I'm like, they don't, the Mexicans don't even hardly celebrate. Maybe the American Mexicans, but in Mexico, my husband will test. He's like, they don't. They don't even acknowledge much about Cinco de Mayo. They don't have the celebration. I think it's just a reason for Americans to party and have tacos and margaritas because we, we love Mexican food so much and Mexican culture. All right. So, okay. So that's my last one. And I think I, I'm going to do the backs before I put them on, even though I think I got plenty of time, guys. Yeah, I got, I got a few minutes to do this because that rest of it is just kind of putting it on there. All right, so yeah, let that one dry, and I'll go ahead and do the backs on the other ones. Oh, you mix it up. Yeah, yeah. I missed it. Uh, Ireland Ireland doesn't celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Oh, they don't. Well, that's interesting. Thank you for letting us know that. I had no clue. I would have naturally thought that would be the case. I know. It's funny how us Americans will take on. But yeah, I mean, we're such a melting pot that I get it. But it's funny that the own countries won't, don't celebrate the things that are about their countries. <laughs> Uh, does anybody actually know what the deal was to Cinco de Mayo anyway? Um, I mean, I don't have all the details. I just kind of, kind of, sort of know that it was a, they had victory over a, you guys know what, who, who was fighting them? And they had a, a victory over a war with uh, what country? Can you guys tell me that? I know it's a little late for Cinco de Mayo uh, trivia, but why not? I actually want to do, like I said, I want to do some bird trivia too. I want to have like some like bird brain stories or something really fun. You know, like this is for the birds. Can you guys think of any like really funny, like bird um, sayings? Okay, so the back just makes the back look a little bit better. Anybody got any bird sayings out there? Yeah, I know that's what I said, Terry. Margaritas and tacos, man, whatever. We'll party for anything for that, right? All right, I'm actually putting my hot dog on the floor because I didn't know why if you walk by it after I'm done and burn, it on, burn my leg. <laughs> that would be me. All right. So, yeah. So, like I said, um, how about I started? This is for the birds. Anybody else tell me another, like, fun little bird mem or a bird saying or something about birds or bird joke? I got 45. I got 15 minutes left. Oh, this is so sweet. See, I did get a lot done. But France, you're right, Jeannie. It was France. They were having a battle war, whatever you want to call it, with France. And they defeated France. So they have this thing called Cinco de Mayo. I guess it must have been on May 5th or something when they did it. At that far, I didn't even get. Um, but, yeah, so it was France. One thing that's funny, Robert always says, because, you know, being Mexican, he's always, he's a teaser. He'll look at me real serious. And he says this a lot, you know, like we're being a conversation. And then he'll turn to me and he'll go, remember. And I'll be like, remember what he goes, remember the Alamo. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, the Alamo. <laughs> That's his thing. He cracks me up. Remember the Alamo. They flew the coop. They sure did. Oh, there you go. The bird, yeah, bird saying. They flew the coop just like the France did in Mexico, right? Okay. All right. Flew the coop, guys. That's a good one. I right, said, so mine as well. There's another one. Bird brain. There's another one. There's lots of little bird sayings and bird thoughts. I just was going to look them up and have them to be able to read off to you guys. But, you know, I just spaced it out. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yes. By the way, did anybody see that movie? Oh, my Lord. That was such a great movie back then. Oh, it's still good. A Jack Nicholson crazy movie. Yeah, that was that was a great movie. Jack Nicholson. He's had some, he's had some funky roles, hasn't he? It was unexpected victory over French over French force. I know because I'm sure that they were, um, you know, the France were much more equipped than, you know, to, to come in and, and knock them out of the water than um, they were. And then I love it when when the underdog wins, don't you guys? I love it when the underdog wins, especially if somebody's trying to invade your own country. Like, really? Back up. Uh -uh, you ain't, uh -uh. It's kind of like, um, you know, I'm into politics, but I love the fact that Ukraine's kind of kind of whipping Russia a little bit, you guys think. Anyway, so, all right, so we got these. Aren't they looking pretty cool? They are looking pretty cool. Yeah, I just, I couldn't decide how to go. If I wanted to go bright and whimsical, if I wanted to go a little bit more like on the, um, 
uh, where's my lid now? I wanted to go more on the like, um, <clears throat> you know, the white army half side or something, but I don't know. I just, you guys know me. I like whimsical stuff. So I got to be able to put my little leaves on here. I'll put the leaves on before I put my, my um, little pieces. But like I said, by the way, all these little bees, these are very fast and wonky. But what I did is I take two colors of clay, like a, this is a yellow, sometimes three. And I just kind of mesh them together and I get them to where they look like, um, like a little, you know, marbly effect. So this one was actually really cool too. This one's going to go on top. This was actually a piece of clay that I did with a stencil on top of it, I think. And I, if it had leftover clay, I just take the clay together and I kind of mesh them together and it turns out to be whatever it is. So, all right, so let me see where I can I put my little leaves. I actually made the leaves before I thought about the bird's nest, so they might not show up as well because I was going to have them hanging off the edge, but I'll still, they'll still be a nice accent, I think. I figure out where to put them here. So if you guys can see that. And used it to their advantage. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They knew their land. Oh, they knew their land better than the French. Right. Okay, I get it now and use it to their advantage. A fun way to create beads. Yeah, actually, like I said, you know, I know um, I don't buy a lot of things in the store, especially, I mean, you know, ribbons and things like that, of course, but uh, fabric. But when it comes to like your harder pieces, I make them. I make everything out of clay. I get the molds. I mean, there's not saying I don't ever pick up something, but for the most part, I will just make it. And that's one of the beauty. And sometimes, I mean, they're cheap, but also I just like that. I like being able to make my stuff homemade. I don't know if I like that there. I had them kind of like in set up the way, but now this bird's nest kind of getting in my way. But I don't think I really want to pull much of the bird's nest off because I really like the bird's nest. So I'm just going to start gluing them and then I'll figure them out from there. They'll, they'll look fine. But what I did too, as you guys can see, um, I baked. See how these are, these are draped, they're, they're bent. I purposely had the raw clay and I, I set them on the edge like this and I baked this whole thing in the oven like this. So I would have the bend and the clay like and the clay so they would kind of bend over the edge. So yeah, I had to take out my racks in my oven to get this high enough in there to, to do it. Some things, you know, I did my, um, that mermaid cup, the, the wine glass the other day. One moment, I'm looking for my, for my glue. Yeah, I got 10 minutes, okay? In five minutes, my little my little timer's going to go off. But yeah, when I did my little mermaid glass, I had to bake that thing. And I literally had to take every single rack, well, the, except for the last rack, I had to take it all out of the oven. I might end up having to pull a little bit of this bird's nest off. We'll see as we go. But yeah, because it was really tall. Hey, Miss Crafty, the Crafty Ladybug. How are you? How are you? So has everybody got everybody... Uh, over on YouTube now. I mean, I, I have my YouTube channel. I've had it for a while and I always stream into it when I do live. So I've got a ton of lives because they've been going from, from uh, you know, the events over in there. But I don't do much else with it, though, just sit, put my lives in there. But at least I've got the channel and everybody else should start doing that, too. This one, I don't know. That one's bugging me. I might not put that one on there. But it's, I mean, I don't, you know... It's good to just have that extra source with YouTube. And, you know, it's another whole thing we'd have to learn together. But, all right, these two are supposed to kind of go together. I think those are supposed to sit together like that. And I've got a few more here. This one, I think, was supposed to be kind of up in there. But I can't get that one up in there because of the nest. Definitely going to have to move this. I have a real nest. Not sure if it's safe to use real ones. Well, this one's real. I mean, I don't. I'm not going to be eating off it or anything, so I guess it'd be all right. <laughs> I'm just assuming I, I'm using it. I looked at it. It didn't have any, like, critters in it. You know, there's no bug. This one's been sitting literally for weeks. I, I pulled it out of my spider plant, and I just set it aside. And so, I, you know, but there's nothing really creepy crawling in it or anything like that. So it should be all right. And um, nothing else. It's just for now, it's staying out in my studio. I'll, I'll probably put it in the auction, by the way. And, See if anybody wants to buy it. I have a real nest. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I've had several nests before. I've got a few of them when they, they make them. All right. I think I'm going to be good. I'm just going to put those on. These, I don't know. I can't seem to find a spot for those. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Actually, those are off to the side in the 
things or I can turn them like this. I can turn the darn things any way I want, I guess. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, um, I know, isn't it cool? Like I said, this one has all kinds of little ditties. It's got lint and it's got some feathers and it's got like even everybody ever seen like the cellulose of the leaves, you know, like when the actual plant starts coming off and you got like the little fibers of the plant. It's like there's a process, by the way, I saw and I saved it a long time on Pinterest where you can actually remove the outer part of the leaf and just have those like skeletal things. And you can actually make really cool crafts out of that. Somebody needs to look into that. It's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm just going to put my, I'm just going to assemble it up, guys. Um, I think I'm just going to start with this blue bead, depending on the color. I got more white on this side than that one, so I'm going to stick that down on there. If the person wants to, they can actually put a little glue in here and glue these down. I'm not going to do that right now. I just, you know, sometimes I do if I don't want things moving around. But I think I wanted to put this yellow one down like that. Okay, I'll make it so you can see. Well, let, me, let me push it up a little bit. So you can see the light starts getting a little funky because my light's in the other direction. But I might have to glue these guys down, the, the birds, because they're they're wanting to do a little hole in the back. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick some glue down in here. Um, the hole where I put the little dowel is a little um, a little bigger than the actual wire. So yeah, I'm just going to stuck that on there. And I might need to put a little bit more in there. Let me do that. Let me look from the back here. Shoulder. I wear a um, an earbud, like uh, my little microphone headset here. And it's kind of cool because I can actually listen to music. That nobody can, and Facebook can't say anything because they can't hear it. I just hear it in my ear. It's pretty cool. All right, so I got that one. Now, I did do this one opposite. So let me see. Am I going to do a green? I think I'll do green. Yeah, I think we'll put the green one on next. All right. I think, you know what? Why not? I'm just going to go ahead and glue everything. What the heck? Put a little glue on there. Oh, that's my five minute timer. Okay. All right, guys. It's five minutes. So you know the drill if you know me. So I, what I want you to do now, this is the best way. Okay. So, okay, five minutes. I got five minutes to go, and I'm going to do my giveaway tool, guys. So, um, man, I want the light. I'll turn it around the light better in a second when I, I get it put on. So your hashtag word for the giveaway tool today is uh, birds. I believe, hold on. Let me check. It's birds, plural. Yeah. It's birds, plural. So in your comments, go ahead and this is may so everybody that's ever won in the past can go ahead and put in hashtag birds and um i'll go ahead and run that giveaway tool in a second and we'll see who's the winner and uh like i said i'll get you on the list to receive a five dollar gift certificate uh, uh yeah from amazon i'll do a five dollar gift card at the end of the month all right this one i actually did opposite i didn't want them all going the same direction so oh, <laughs> Slip that off and you're going up in there. Okay. All right, so that one's that. Let me put a little extra in there. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm rushing through this. I'll have to do that a little bit better when, when I'm off camera. It's kind of cool too because you can turn them. They don't have to be exactly straight. You know, you can kind of manipulate them a little bit if you want them. Almost looks reminds me of um, like a wind. What do you call those wind things? Windmill things, you know, sort of thing. Hashtag birds, guys. Get your hashtag in. Get your hashtag in. All right. Get the last one on here. And then we'll switch the camera over and we'll run the tool, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys doing that. And by the way, like I said, you know, the Crafty Bunch, we're going on till I think about six ish tonight. Uh, Miss Melanie's up next and she's a spotlight. She's a spotlight girl. This is her idea. Oh, that looks cute. Doesn't it look cute, guys? Okay. Now I've got a little bead here. I was going to put this one on top kind of set it off but i don't know if that one's going to go down enough no i gotta use this guy here and i still might need to put a little extra something on there but i want to keep the beads so they're like that all right now let me turn it towards the light so you guys can get a better look at it okay and actually let me turn my camera up and i can change it around settings camera go up okay so yeah here we go guys get an idea and you know the glue is gonna have to set up a little bit but it's pretty cute the little birds i might make them a little bit off center there so they're not exactly straight 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 that's pretty cool huh 
All right, so yeah, so that's how you work with polymer clay and make something really cool. All right, let's do this tool. We got three minutes left. Let's go ahead and run the tool. Everybody got their hashtags in there? Hey, Mary, it's good to have you, darling. If you got, you haven't got your pass. I see you as Mary Miller. So I'm assuming you don't have your, you're not unblocked yet from your thing. Man, I just whacked my bird and my wing just fell off because it wasn't dry enough. That's what I get for being in a rush. Yeah, oh well. It'll all come together in the end, like they say, right? All right. By the way, you guys see back here? Let me get that up. You guys see that that back there? Where's it at? Right here? That's my, um, that is uh, like a three-foot totem pole with my sun, uh, little uh, sunshine flower on there. Let's do this giveaway tool, guys. The open tool going to be in live person. All right. So let me share. Thank you for hanging out, by the way, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And, um, yeah. I'm going to be here again Wednesday. I'm trying to figure out. I got to present. I got to share the screen. I'm going to do giveaway tools. Share that puppy. Make sure you guys can see it. Okay, you can see it. Okay, everybody got hashtag birds. I know. I feel really bad about that. I didn't even know anything was going on until Mary started talking about it. Here we go. Collecting comments. Draw. Here we got. Who's going to get it this week? Crafty Ladybug. All right, darling, the Crafty Ladybug. All right, so what you need to do is you need to uh, you need to private message me your email address. And um, I will put you on my list, and I will be sending at the end of the month, or first part of next month, I will be sending you a $5 Amazon gift certificate. So, and I don't even know your first name, darling, so you have to tell me your first name. But get like I said, you got to PM me because... Honestly, it takes too much time for me to go back and look after a whole month. So it's it, uh, if you want that gift certificate, it's on you to, to, to get with me about it. Okay, but you're good to go. All right, let's see. I'm, at, I'm right at the dot. Go see Melanie. She's already started. I love you guys. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.